Hi, this is Joe from Manaby Training Club and here is a finisher five minute workout. This is a very quick workout with um, no rest between each of the exercises. You're going straight through five minutes total. This is a great workout for after your run or after your gym session. You can even do this halfway through your run or halfway through your session. Um, if you're doing an out and back, you can do this at the top of a hill. You don't necessarily need a mat for this one. If you find a patch of grass or you find somewhere that's quite soft, that's going to help. Um, the only really sort of difficult exercise is going to be sitting on your bum doing flutter kicks and crossovers. So make sure you've got somewhere comfortable for that. So five minutes, let's do it. Okay, the first exercise is squats. Make sure your chest is up and your bum is going below your knees. Get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. So hands together, squatting nice and low. Legs slightly wider than shoulder width. Get that bum right down. And again, we're doing one minute and then straight into the next one. No rest. Usually we have 15 seconds rest for the longer workouts, for the 12 and a half minute workouts, but for this one, we're just going to be finishing off our workout, going straight through a little cheeky five minutes at the end, just to tag on to whatever other exercise we're doing. 30 seconds, getting that bum low. Gotta love squats. Great exercise. Try and do these as, as often as you can every day if possible. 15 seconds. This is also a great little workout if it's a rainy day outside, so good one to do. Three, two, one, going into push-ups. Straight into it, let's go. Try and keep your body nice and straight. Chin up, make sure you've got some air going in. Opening up your windpipe, your trachea. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Push through. I'm sure some of you will be better at push-ups than I am. You'll be getting a lot more done. Let's see how you go. Flutter kicks and crossovers. Balance on your bum. Flutter kicks. Hands by your side if you need to. Looking at your toes, engaging your core. Looks like I'm going to do crossovers first. So you can start with flutter kicks or crossovers, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go crossovers, then flutter kicks. Keep those legs nice and straight. Keep looking at your toes. Keep your heels off the ground. Keep going. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Next one is side plank. Three, two, one, let's go, side plank. Up on one arm, on one hand, nice and straight all the way through if you can. Holding that position. I never know what to do with this arm. Hang it, put it up, put it here, like this. So. Just find what works best for you. 30 seconds, change arms, other side. Body nice and straight. And you're just trying to keep your body as straight as you can. Engaging your core, using these muscles. Use it or lose it, 10 seconds. We're gonna finish on one minute elbow plank. Three, two, one, and finish on plank. Elbow plank, 
And if you want to, you can rock backwards and forwards, side to side, forwards and backwards again. Lift your left leg, keep your body straight. Left leg down, lift your right leg. 30 seconds, right leg down, lift your left arm. Left arm down, right arm. Right arm down, now go right leg, left arm. Right leg and left arm. Hold, other side. Left leg, right arm. Hold. Three, two, one. Well done. That is a five minute workout for you to do straight after your run. Or as I said, halfway through or after gym workout. Add that into your weekly schedule. Only five minutes. Very, very easy. You can jump straight in and get this done. If you haven't done any workout at all today, this is a good little thing to do. Just if you've got a spare five minutes. No excuses, easy workout, follow along. Make sure you like or subscribe and we'll be posting some more videos like this. So any requests, put in the comments below and happy running. Cheers, bye.